Number 5. 365 Days is a 2020 Polish romantic and erotic film directed by Barbara Białoas. The story revolves around the main character, Laura Beale, played by Anna Maria Sikleka, a career woman who becomes entangled in an extremely complex emotional relationship. While on vacation in Italy, she is unexpectedly kidnapped by Massimo Torricelli, an Italian mafia boss played by Michelle Moroni. Massimo, drawn to Laura's beauty, tells her that he will make her fall in love with him within 365 days, or he will set her free. Over the course of a year trapped in a luxurious villa, the relationship between Laura and Massimo becomes increasingly intricate. The film explores themes of love, desire, power, and danger, providing viewers with highly tense emotional experiences. However, due to the film's plot and content, which includes explicit erotic scenes, it has sparked controversy and discussions. Never let anyone hurt you. I'll take care of her. You saved me. I don't need the real. Number 4. Fifty Shades of Grey is a 2015 American romantic drama film directed by Sam Taylor Johnson and based on the novel of the same name by L. James. The story revolves around the complex romantic relationship between the two main characters. Anastasia Steele played by Dakota Johnson and Christian Grey played by Jamie Dornan. Anastasia is a student journalist who goes to interview the young billionaire Christian Grey and finds herself strongly attracted to him. However, she soon discovers that Christian has particular sexual preferences and a desire for control, and he proposes to establish a BDSM relationship with Anastasia. As the story unfolds, their relationship becomes increasingly complicated, and they must confront their past traumas and make choices about their future. Fifty Shades of Grey garnered significant attention and controversy due to its explicit content and sexual scenes. I'm capable of leaving you alone. Then don't. I had a rough start in life. You should steer clear of me. I don't do romance. My tastes are very singular. You wouldn't understand. Number 3. The Little Death is a 2014 Australian comedy film directed by Josh Lawson. This film is a dark comedy that explores various bizarre and absurd scenarios related to sex and relationships. It showcases five couples with different backgrounds and sexual quirks, each dealing with their unique sexual fantasies and problems all intertwined in a humorous and dramatic way. The movie touches on a range of sexual topics, including fetishes, desires, infidelity, and sexual dysfunction. Each storyline unfolds in a comedic and unexpected manner, presenting various human emotions and reactions to sex. While the film has sex as its central theme, it approaches the subject matter with humor and warmth, delving into different facets of human relationships including love, trust, and mutual understanding. Tonight, I want your big hard cock to fill me up. Oh, yeah. Killing me. Others perform better by playing the part. 
Well, you need to examine me further. I'm afraid it's bad news. Well, I have been a very bad girl. You Just have hepatitis. That's not very sexy, is it? No, no, it's not. Particularly not hepatitis C. And some see tears and cry for joy. I've never seen you cry before. I'll leave the onions on the bench for the card, OK? Onions again? This is a date movie. Whatever happened to good old-fashioned, run-of-the-mill sex? People have to complicate it with all this kinky shit. But more of a third or fourth date movie. What, does he want to put it in my mouth? It's just been in your ass. So? I love you. I just want for one little second to fear what it might be like if it was somebody else. From director Josh Lawson. Great fantasy. Very common. Yeah, it's like your foot thing. A comedy will come. I'm crying all the fucking time. I'm so dehydrated. I just want to make her happy. So what are you waiting for? Be people who aren't afraid to say what they want. The Little Death. I know a couple of words in sign language. I know cunt face and sunrise. Number two. Crash is a 1996 Canadian film directed by David Cronenberg. It's based on the novel of the same name by author J.G. Ballard. The story revolves around a group of people who share a peculiar sexual fetish. They are obsessed with car crashes and sexual acts that take place in and around car accidents. The film delves into their encounters and interactions, resulting in a series of extreme sexual scenes and situations. The narrative primarily focuses on the emotional entanglements among these characters and their pursuit of extreme sexual experiences. Crash was highly controversial due to its explicit and provocative content, but it also garnered praise for its profound exploration of contemporary society and human nature. I have no idea who we really are. Number 1. The Skin I Live In is a 2011 Spanish film directed by Pedro Almodovar. It's a unique and challenging psychological thriller that blends elements of science fiction, horror, and romance. The story revolves around the main character, Dr. Robert Ledford, played by Antonio Banderas. He is a brilliant but eccentric plastic surgeon who is deeply in love with a woman named Vera, played by Elena Anoya. Robert's experiments and surgeries take a bizarre turn, leading to an incredible revelation. Involving themes of love, identity, and revenge, the film is narrated with flashbacks and reveals intricate relationships and mysteries from the characters' past, visually and emotionally captivating. The film has a distinctive narrative style and intense dramatic tension. Viewers are immersed in the story while contemplating themes of love, fear, and identity. 